Hello everyone, happy Sunday to all of you. Hope you're doing fantastic today. How's everyone doing? Today, doing okay, I suppose. Nothing too out of the ordinary. Yesterday I went out for a bit, went outside, and it was getting hot also. So, yep, had a good weekend. Hope you had a great weekend. We have an interesting topic for today that someone requested, which is open-mindedness. So, well, that's the general theme. And, and here, was, here was the comment. What does one do when they want to believe in religion, love, meaning, karma, or something along those lines, but don't make themselves? But can't make themselves, sorry. How to become more open-minded to other ex explanations to life than we are simply biological mechanisms created by evolution, nothing beyond that. Hmm. So I guess how to believe in some of these other systems and how to open open your mind to that. So this is an interesting one because how can you become more open-minded? How can you start to question things outside of the box and think outside the box? This is very important because a lot of people right now are starting to think outside the box. They're starting to question. So they've, they've been forced into that situation based on all of the news media lying, the politicians lying, and just, just the world in general. They're just starting to question a lot of things that don't really make any sense. And when they, and when they look into it, nothing makes sense. Nothing makes sense at all. So how can you be more open-minded and open to these things? It's all about, I guess, having your own views, but realizing that your own views may not necessarily be right either. So if you believe, if you let's just say you're an atheist and you, you, you don't believe in a God at all and you look at all of the information and you see that there's really no information that shows that there's a God at all. But at the same time, there's a lot of unknown in that area. There's a lot of unknown. There's a lot of things you don't know about. So who's to say that maybe if things were a little different or maybe there's a hid, hidden thing that you're not really seeing that that shows that there is so there's many different ways you can approach it and i think it all comes down to your willingness to admit that everything that you believe can change at any moment everything that 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 you see and you and is in your physical reality could change at any moment because things are always changing Things are always evolving and changing and growing. So we have to realize that everything is different from today, tomorrow, yesterday, even the past, the future. It all differs. It's all different. So we really try to remain open-minded. And to do that, as I said, we have to learn that our opinions are just opinions. They may not necessarily be fact because we may not necessarily know the facts. We may not necessarily know what happens. We are always open to new ideas. That is that is the whole point of all this. To always be open to new ideas and to look at different pictures of what the overall thing that's happening is. Because even though I may be opinionated, you may be opinionated, we have our own opinions on things Guess what? At the end of the day, who's to say that those beliefs that we have are even correct at all? Or what if they are correct? Does it matter either way? Because the world is subjective. I don't think there's really any undeniable facts about various things, to be honest. Like a big one that this person asked about was religion, God. Do we have undeniable proof th th uh, that there is one? Do we have undeniable proof that there isn't it that there is not one? This there's, there's probably very strong evidence on both sides, but guess what? Who's right? Who knows? We won't know the answer to that. But at the end of the day, also, we gotta remember there is so much we don't know, so we can't really rule out any anything either. So there's so much to look at, there's so much to kind of expand your mind to and just, just to try to be as you know, not necessarily accepting of, of new ideas. You can believe whatever ever you want to believe, you know. I, I don't say accept every single view that comes your way. Accept the views that align with your own viewpoint and perspective and whatever else that, that you believe. But just to 
whenever something comes your way, any sort of new information, just take it what it is and just look at it, whatever the information is, and just see if it aligns uh, uh, with your perspective and maybe see things f uh, from that side. And if it doesn't, then let it go. And if it does, then look look into it more. Just do whatever it is that you can the best to be able to see things as other people can, can see them. To the best of your ability. It's very, very hard to do that, but the best you can. So... That's pretty much my uh, words on open-mindedness. Uh, let me know your thoughts on it to see how open-minded you are. And uh, I guess I'll catch you later. So you take care now. Have a, have a great day. And see you later. Bye.